see when we talk about ai or classical ai uh, i think it started off with enabling humans to do what they used to do at scale right um, so that might involve something like detecting a pattern right and earlier humans used to do it based on whatever their observation with five senses was and then we had data and uh, machine learning to do that right then probably based on the patterns uh, you detect maybe you should be able to predict what's going to happen and plan ahead of time which is what humans used to do and then machines started doing that then the last part was of course making the decisions based on what you're predicting what you have detected as a pattern how do you decide and move forward like that's the decision part of it so mainly if i would say ai started off with these parts of detecting predicting and making a decision right but with generative ai i think uh, rather than enabling machines to do things better uh, generative ai has made machines human like by that what i mean is providing capability to machines like being able to see hear talk you know so it feels more human like and generate new content which was not part of either detecting deciding or predicting right so i think that's how generative ai is different from ai where they're also started generating new content like humans right whether it could be voice it could be pictures it could be you know just language text all of it and that's why i think now we are associating everything to generative ai as ai because that's the most advanced uh, capability in this evolution 